What is up? It's Jan back at it again with another nerdy bookish video. So we're gonna do a little double whammy moment and use a day of 25 days of Janmas for announcing my next three book club picks for the full moon book club. <laughs> you're new here, I run a book club all by myself called the Full Moon Book Club and it's called that because I have my live discussions every full moon of the month. I don't have like a separate Instagram or anything for it so just follow me on Instagram, it's just at Jana Agaton. I make all the announcements and updates over there but if you do forget or miss an announcement you could just google when the full moon is for that month so you don't miss the live show. You know, every month I have a guest host. All the information is always linked down below in all of my videos. There's always a link to a Google form as well. I always say that it's not mandatory, obviously. Like you just read the books and go to the live shows if you want to participate, you know? The Google form asks just basic questions about yourself so I could like put faces to names and get to know y'all a bit more and we can chat and discuss. And I am starting slowly but surely to work on this email newsletter that I promised y'all that I would get out by the end of the year. It's it's just a lot because like I said previously, I want it to be like exactly the layout and the design that I want it to be and I mean I'm doing it myself. I have somewhat of a vision but I just need to like execute, you know? I'm still like just thinking it through, okay? That's all I wanted to say. But yeah, so these are my next three book club picks. It is crazy that these book club picks go to April, which means after this, the next announcements would be for the anniversary of this book club. I started this book club in May of 2021, and that is freaking wild to me. I just can't believe that I, we, <laughs> honestly, we made this happen. Like, oof blows my mind. Okay, without further ado, or whatever people say around here, we'll just go right into it. This will be going up before the December live show, so just a friendly reminder. The December book is The Broken Girls. Let me get the book. My December book is The Broken Girls by Simone St. James, and the live show will be featuring Hannah from Hannah's Recent Reads, and it is gonna be Saturday, December 18th at 6 p.m. Central. If you missed my last announcement, the January book club pick will be The Girl Who Drank the Moon by Kelly Barnhill. This is a middle grade, and it's witchy, and if you wanna know more, I'll have the previous announcement video linked down below, and my guest for January will be Kat from Booktube Beginnings. All right, so for February, I'm so excited for this y'all because y'all know I've been in a vampy mood pretty much all year. A Dowry of Blood is my favorite book of all time. I've been reading like one vampire book a month ever since, honestly. I reread A Dowry of Blood. I read so many vampire books since. And here's another one for my February pick. I chose Black Sunshine by Karina Halley. Halley? Hal? I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below how to say her last name. But this... This is a dark romance. It's supposed to be steamy. It involves a vampire. It involves a female vampire who doesn't know she's a vampire, which that's one of the tropes that I don't really like just because it's so cliche, but I usually do still like the story despite this trope, but I always roll my eyes when in the synopsis it says, oh, they have this power, but they don't know it yet. But I'm hoping it comes through in this book. Okay, so this girl Lenore is waiting to turn 21. She just wants like a simple birthday. She wants to pass her classes. She wants to hang out with friends. She's a simple gal. And then a week before her birthday, she's kidnapped by a vampire. And then she finds out that she is a vampire. This vampire that kidnapped her along with like his little you know, vampire colleagues are out to kill her. But also he wants to save her at the same time and I'm assuming they fall in love and that's where the steam comes in and I'm so freaking excited, especially because my guest for February is the one and only McKay from McKay's Bookstagram. Nope, from McKay's Book Club. That's his channel. McKay's Bookstagram is his bookstagram. <laughs> I'm just so excited because McKay reads the darkest books I've ever seen. <laughs> He's recommended Killing Stalking to me and I couldn't make it past like chapter 8. And I got him to read A Dowry of Blood and he loved it so I was like, ooh, perfect. Maybe we could buddy read this together. Oh, maybe I could make a book club pick and here we are. Yeah, I don't hear too many people talking about this. The only person I've heard talk about this is Madison from Princess of Paperback. Yeah, as soon as I saw the cover, I was intrigued and then I heard it was a vampire story and then I heard it was a dark romance and I'm like, yes, 
freaking please. So yeah, that is February and I believe the full moon. I don't know the other details, but I know the full moon for February is February 16th. So just an FYI there. All right, moving on to March. So March is Women's History Month, so I really wanted a book that was centered around women and I chose A Special Place for Women by Laura Hankin. A lovely subscriber gifted this to me and I'm just gonna go ahead and say who my guest is because I did this very strategically and it all just worked out perfectly. Perfectly. But so my guest for March is Noelle from Noelle seven pages seven is her Enneagram type <laughs> She actually runs a feminist centric <laughs> book club and I was like, ooh, perfect I hope this book is on her radar So I asked her and she was like girl It's been one of my most highly anticipated and I haven't gotten to it yet And I was like, well, do you want to wait until March possibly and be my guest? She said yes So a special place for women when I originally heard about this book I thought it was witchy. It might still be but apparently it is set in New York and it's about this elite women only club that like has some secrets and this journalist is out to find out these secrets and she is trying to get to the bottom of this elite secret society and find out what these women are actually up to and I really hope it's a cult type thing because I freaking love the cult trope I don't know I'm feeling rich people problems all these secrets coming out at once and I hope it's a shit show I am so ready for this book that is that on that <laughs> lastly I don't have a physical copy for this one yet for the April book club pick because it hasn't come out yet. I'm hoping to get an arc maybe somehow. I don't know, but I'm really excited for this one If y'all didn't know I tried to have one backlist one new release and one BIPOC author in any like mix and match situation for each chunk of three that I announced for this book club So we got a backlist and then this is gonna be the new release and the BIPOC author. This is like semi-new. This came out in 2021, but this last pick for April is gonna be my new release and my BIPOC author. And that is A Magic Steeped in Poison by Judy I. Lin. It's Judy or Julie? Judy. So this, book is a debut. It's a first in a duology and it's based on Chinese mythology. It's for fans of Adrian Young and Lee Bardugo apparently is what it's pitched as. But also the synopsis that I read reminds me of A Song of Wraiths and Ruin as well because so this girl Ning accidentally makes poisonous tea and she gives it to her mom and her sister and then she enters this competition that grants her one wish and that is like her only hope to save her family and there's a bunch of like drama that goes Goes on there are like there's betrayal backstabbing all that jazz and it's a competition to find the kingdom's greatest shenong shi masters of the ancient and magical art of tea making yeah that reminds me of a song of race and ruin because of the competition and like saving her sister and everything and i love that book so i'm really excited for this one and my guest for april is tammy from tammy reads a lot i think that's her channel tammy kinda reads a lot shoot hold on let me check. I'm clearly a fake fan. <laughs> no, it's Tammy Tries to Read. Oh my god, I'm so stupid. Tammy from Tammy Tries to Read. God, I'm so sorry, Tammy. I'm so excited for these next three picks. I hope y'all are too. I'll have all my guests' information linked down below. Please subscribe to them, follow them on Instagram, whatever else. They are all incredible, and I'm so thankful that they were willing to be on my book club live shows. It means the world to me. All of you who like participate, join the discussions, even if you didn't read the book, like, <sighs> It's just wild to me. That's gonna be it for this video. If you made it to the end, put the like smiling full moon emoji down below. I'm pretty sure I used it before, but like the gray moon with the smile. Yeah, put that in the comments down below. Let me know which ones you're most excited for. Thank you so much for watching. Hope y'all had a great day. Merry everything and a happy always, and I'll see y'all in my next one. Bye.